You know, I love airsoft pistols. I use them for so many things and I have a blast with them. In this video, I wanna talk about the best one I've shot yet. Stay tuned. I wanted to take a moment to greet all of my subscribers as well as new visitors. My name is Daniel Irvin and welcome to 411 Outdoors. This channel is devoted to the outdoor enthusiast who loves everything from weapons, survival, adventure, tutorials, reviews, and anything outdoors. If you find this information helpful in any way, I'd be super excited if you'd subscribe to the channel and click the bell so that you can get your notifications. Now let's get started talking about this airsoft pistol. There are a couple of reasons why I got into airsoft pistols. Number one, I do believe that it does give you a lot of ways to train tactically and silently. I cannot always get to the range. I'm sure you can't always get to the range. There's a lot of things you can do with an airsoft pistol that can emulate real world things, such as you can practice drawing the airsoft pistol speedily and hitting a target from you know whatever distance you choose. I like to set up plinkers and I like to set up a really small target to see how quick I can draw the airsoft pistol and hit the target. You can move around with this. It's just a good way to practice. You can shoot at someone else as long as you've got face protection on. It's a lot of ways you can train for a real world scenario. I realize it doesn't have the same weight or recoil. Nevertheless, there's still a lot you can do. Another reason why I'm drawn to airsoft pistols is that I wanted to include this weapon in my training montages. I know I've made other airsoft videos where I've talked about this, but I'm only giving this information for those who are seeing these for the first time. Behind my house in the woods, I have built a training ground. I call it my 411 grounds. On those training grounds is a number of knife throwing targets, hatchet throwing targets, an archery range, a couple of slingshot ranges, and an area to train in martial arts. It's just where I go to work out. I like to film my time of training because I will create montage videos for my social media pages, for YouTube as well, and I want the viewers to be able to see me working with the weapons that I spend a lot of time talking about. I wanted to incorporate airsoft training in with my knife throwing and hatchet throwing and all of the rest. On my channel thus far, I have reviewed two airsoft pistols. The first one was the Interrogator Firepower brand. I bought it from Dunham Sporting Goods. I paid 15 bucks for it. It shoots great. It's about 265 feet per second. It does well. It's a really good airsoft pistol. It's inexpensive and it gets the job done. The next airsoft pistol I purchased was because of the feet per second. I noticed that this company called Game Face had put out something called the Stinger P311 that shot 325 feet per second. I also reviewed that one. I picked it up just because I wanted to see if the extra speed would help with a little bit of distance and accuracy. It did. The only problem I had with the Stinger P311 was the clip. The magazine was very unstable. The ammunition was constantly falling out of it. Not to mention, sometimes that airsoft pistol does not always shoot straight. I've noticed some inconsistencies in it since I bought it. I want to say I paid about $25 for the Stinger P311. Now, I went out recently and picked up another airsoft pistol by the same company, Game Face, and it is awesome. I wish I would have skipped over the other two. That airsoft pistol is the Recon. It's the Recon. You can buy the Recon by itself for about 18 bucks, or you can do what I did and you can get the kit. I paid about $30 for the Recon kit. Basically, you get the Recon Airsoft Pistol. You get a holster, which is really cool if you're out running around, playing airsoft with other people or training, and you get some ammunition with it. Now, that's not really a big deal because ammunition for these things doesn't cost a lot. Nevertheless, it's pretty cool to get some ammunition with the gun. Maybe some of the things that I have said about Airsoft Pistols has inspired you to get one and train. If you get one, I wanna save you time and trouble and get behind the recon 100%. It's by Game Face. They also produce the Stinger that I talked about, but this shoots straighter than the Stinger. This shoots consistent and it has a very solid magazine. When you're fooling with airsoft pistols, you don't want a magazine that's got the ammo coming out of it very easy. When you put the ammo in this clip, it stays locked in there. I can't say the same for the Stinger. On the Stinger, the ammo's constantly falling out and getting jammed in the gun. That's one of the major problems that you'll deal with with airsoft pistols. I have a group of friends, we get together every Thursday evening and we, we just do fight training. We train in self-defense, martial arts, and all that fun stuff. Included in our training is real world scenarios with weapons, knives, guns, etc. And we have started incorporating airsoft training into that, 
you know, law enforcement will often talk about the 21 foot rule. You know, if someone's got a knife, um, you need at least 21 feet between you and the assailant, you know, without them getting to you and cutting you or stabbing you before you can shoot them. We, we practice that a lot. I have fake knives and things that we train with and I put this on, I bought this mask. <laughs> this is a paintball mask, but when we train, I use this mask to protect my face and it, it works well with the airsoft gun. I've got a body protector that I use, but it's really not necessary. This stings pretty hard when you get hit with it. You can hear the, you can hear the force. I shot the table over there. It comes out really quick. Um, it, it's probably a good 25 feet between me and that table. It hit it immediately. I think this travels at about 280 feet per second. It's really good for training. It's enough to sting you if it hits you, you know, in the chest or hits you in the arm. It's a pretty good sting, but it's, it's not going to take you out. And you can also take multiple shots with it. You do want to protect your eyes if you're going to do that kind of airsoft training. You could probably just use eye protection, but it would still sting pretty hard to catch one of these BBs in the forehead or the cheek. So I just wear the face mask. All right, let's bring this to a close. If this is something that interests you, if you don't have an airsoft pistol and something like this has given you the excitement and motivation to get into it, save yourself some trouble and just get the recon from Game Face. I've shot three different airsoft pistols. This one far supersedes all of the rest of them. It shoots straight, fast, and accurate. It's wonderful. It's got a great clip. You can get the kit for about 30 bucks, the recon kit, or you can get the pistol for about 18 bucks by itself. I want to show you a little clip of my airsoft gun training, just how I get out, the dynamic of what it looks like. I use a plinker so that it makes a really cool sound when you hit it. I just want to share this video for you to check out just as an example of what I do. Thank you so much for watching and have a great one.